Good, good morning. Uh, certainly very bright light there. It's like waking up with the sun in your face. It's good fun. Uh, I'll be talking about one extension to engines. Even though the subject is the MongoDB extension, it is not what I particularly talk about. It is more used as an illustration to see what happens uh, well, when you need to think about writing stuff for more than one engine. But all that means, I'll get back to it soon enough. A little bit about me, I'm Derek. I'm Dutch, British, living in London. Uh, I work for MongoDB on the PHP and now HHVM MongoDB drivers. Um, I also did some other things that you might have heard of, like Xdebug and PHP's daytime extension. If you have questions about that, come talk to me later. Uh, I love maps. I also like beer, in case that is important for you. Hint, hint. Right? Um, so I'll be talking about, um, yeah, a, a little bit of what I've been doing for the last year and year and a half. Um, you've all heard of PHP 5, right? Most of you probably be using it. And then this new thing, P HHVM, came along. So what I'm going to talk about is see what we had to do to support both engines because we saw, oh, HVM is becoming really popular and yeah, they would probably like to talk to MongoDB as well at some point. So let's see how we can write an extension for that. And then uh, PHP 7 came along and sort of threw this whole plan off. So instead of talking about one extension, two engines, I'm going to talk about one extension, three engines. At least that's what I thought I'd be doing. All right, what we'll be covering here is a little bit of history. I'm going to go over that really quickly because it's not very interesting. Uh, what our current situation is, uh, some goals that we wanted to do, having support for multiple engines, a little bit of architecture and the status and the future. All right, so the MongoDB extension exists for seven or eight years now. It's very, well, it's quite old. It's pretty damn not so great as it should have been. Uh, partly because it's been written in the early days of PHP 5, or PHP 5.2, I believe. Uh, also, the person that wrote it, although a very good engineer, had never written PHP extensions before. And that caused some API inconsistencies that are now very hard to deal with, adding more features to the driver. So one of the things in there is that if you have options to a function, and many of those options are not mandatory, but they still all had positional arguments in the functions. So if there's functions or methods really with six arguments, and sometimes you only need to six, set a six on, right? That's really as annoying as an API. So we changed that where we could to having an, 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 an array with arguments or parameters or options in there. But we couldn't do that for all the functions, so it's a bit of a mi mis mismatch between those two styles. Uh, there's also no clear strategy when to add command helpers, and command helpers are things like uh, do we create a method for creating a user or for creating a table, which we call collections, or all kinds of other management things. And it's been very disparate, like sometimes we have done it, so in other cases we haven't, so it's not really nice. Uh, there's also some kind of static methods that really don't work in your favor actually using the extension. And there's lots and lots of things in there that yeah, it's just really difficult as an API to use, or even more interesting for us, much more difficult to add to. So we sat down and said, well, we need to do this better, right? We need to do something clever here. And clever in a way that, yeah, we really need to rewrite things. So the idea is that not only do we want to rewrite our driver, what we also want to do is make sure that we can support multiple engines with it, such as HHVM. So the idea is, we write a very simple basic extension in C. That's how you write PHP extensions. Do something very similar to HHVM in that in C that's in C++. And then on top of that, we'll build an extra shell, an extra layer in, written in PHP to provide nice features to users. Um, if any of you have ever written a PHP extension in C, you probably know that is a lot harder than writing PHP code, right? If you haven't tried, you should try, and then you see how much more difficult it is. And of course, PHP itself, I mean, is a language I've known for well, 15 plus years or so, makes it a lot easier. What we also wanted to do is we wanted to keep backwards compatibility between the new driver and the old driver. However, we quickly found that it's something we couldn't do, so that is a goal that we got rid of pretty quickly. And we wanted to build on top of existing code. And with existing code, I didn't, don't mean our existing drivers but the drivers would work in such a way that any other language driver 
they would re-implement everything themselves. They would re-implement connection handling, uh, talking to the database, all the different binary protocol stuff, and every single driver, Perl, Python, uh, all the other languages, Node, Java, whatever language you can think of, they would all re-implement that. And of course, that is not a really good use of your engineering resources, right? So we wanted to build something on top, a library, like you have the MySQL library that many other language that, uh, drivers are built up on top of as well. So then again, yeah, which engines are we going to support? So we had PHP 5, we had HHVM, and then PHP 7 came along. And from the start on, it looked it was going to be really difficult to keep the same code base for PHP 5 and PHP 7. So PHP 5 is our old favorite. It's a new kid on the block. Then we have our newest invention, and so yeah. PHP 5.3 and higher, we dropped that for PHP 5.4 and higher, because there's actually lots of API differences between 5.3 and 5.4, things you don't see in user land, but you will see writing extensions. Uh, HHVM, we only want to do PHP or HHVM 3.9 and higher. And for PHP 5, it's not out yet, and this says now November 12 with a question mark. Uh, it's now past November 12, it's not out yet. Uh, it was supposed to be out on Thursday. That might be happening, that might not be happening. We'll see how that goes. So there's going to stay a question mark there until it's actually released and I have to reel it. So yeah, um, PHP 5, I don't really have to talk about a lot because you've been using that for a long time, so there's some elephants in stats. <laughs> I have other colors that Zev doesn't have, by the way. Um, we have uh, then HHVM is an engine written by Facebook. It started out as hip hop for PHP, which compiled PHP into binary via C++ code translations. Um, although that worked pretty well, uh, they realized quickly that compiling Hello World into their HHVM or hip hop kind of thing took about 50 minutes. That's a bit of a lot for just compiling Hello World, so uh, they changed the architecture into a JIT engine. Uh, it runs your PHP code, and if it sees that some code it gets used a lot, it will compile it then to bytecode or things that run directly on the CPU. It's actually qu quite a nice, clever solution. It is also extremely complex, but I'll rant a little bit more about that in a few moments. It also supports like an extra language called Hack, which is like um, PHP with some extra things. So they implemented scalar type hints a bit earlier and return type hints, and it has some other nice features, maybe, if you like that kind of thing. It also supports things like Xdebug, sort of. It's like, my opinion of HSVM has changed quite a bit over the last year working with it a lot. And although they say they support things, they don't support things the full way, uh, which is a bit uh, annoying. Uh, but again, I can talk about that later, not in this presentation. And it's written in different languages. It's written in C++. It uses OCaml. I'd never seen that language before in my life uh, to do parsing and lots of other things as well. So it's a very complex engine, which is problematic. And then we have PHP 7, which is user land is mostly compatible with PHP 5. I mean, it's very unlikely that your apps won't run, but on the internals, it's very, very, very different. And uh, some more elephants eating cake. All right, so what we want to do in our new architecture, this is not a complete picture, and we have changed it a little bit here. So what we have on the bottom is not our own implementations of the protocols anymore, or connection handling. We're actually using something that has an other team has written uh, the C driver from MongoDB and a Bison library. And Bison is a way how we convert internal language structures to data structures that the database understands. Like it uh, helps support for integers and arrays and documents and stuff like that. So we build on top of those. So libbeason is a new shared library that is written in C for developers that want to work with the Bison serialization format, which is what MongoDB uses for trans trans transporting data. And the idea is that it's used by other drivers as well, so by Perl and by Python, because the way how you write extensions for those languages is very similar to PHP. However, they decided not to support this because, oh, then they need to install a C extension that is difficult. So instead, let's re-implement this in Perl and Python again. I don't think that's particularly a good uh, decision, but that's me. But it's really fast. It's a really fast engine, and for the PHP and HHVM drivers, we do use this. That also means that we don't have to spend the time on fixing bugs in it, because somebody else has to do that now. Similarly, the libmongo C extension, or library, which is a, a library that does all the connection handling. It knows how to talk to multiple servers. It knows how to do failover. That kind of stuff is done in a C driver. And they're all, uh, all open source projects. And this is being used by the PHP and HHVM drivers. Um, 
then we started with our prototype PHP 5 extension called Fungo. Uh, PH for PHP and Ongo for Mongo. I mean, it was a clever joke at the moment. And it's now sort of stuck. We called Fungo everywhere internally. And it's a new extension that we've written from the ground up. We've been working about that for, for about 18 months. It's, we released it about three or four weeks ago. It has this very minimal API. It, it will only know how to run queries, how to run commands. And that's the only thing it does. It doesn't do anything else like creating tables or anything that you would expect from a language driver to do. But we don't have to, right? Because the idea is that you use that together with the PHP library. Uh, the one that we're working on, or Doctrine ODM, or other ODMs that people want to, want to write on top of it. It's a really fast, small layer. That makes it really easy for us to maintain because it's less code to maintain, right? So, a few notes on backward compatibility. So, we, we didn't go from version 1 to version 2, but instead our old driver is called Mongo. Our new one is called MongoDB. And you can run both of them at the same time. Uh, they won't share resources, you cannot share connections between them, but the drivers can be loaded uh, at the same time. Makes it quite easy, well, it makes it easy to migrate code along. On the Packle side, if you, if you search for Mongo, you'll get two results. You get Mongo, it says the legacy driver now, and MongoDB, which is the new one. And the same thing in the PHP documentation, both of the drivers are in there as well. Uh, this is a bit problematic because if people search for, all, for the names, they see the old names linking to the old extension. So what we're currently working on is like a migration guide and links to, well, saying this extension is, is deprecated, please use the new one, and the new function to use and the new method to use in there lives at this URL. So we're working on a bit of a migration guide now. So just have a quick look at APIs. Our old API from Mongo SO, it's fairly trivial how you talk to a database here, right? So with new Mongo client, you make a connection to the database, and then what we do in the second line, we use the database connection handler in $m. We access the demo database, the test table, collections is what we call those, and then we drop it. So accessing a collection is just doing by a, a property dereferencing on the connection object, which if you see that for the first time is actually kind of confusing. Storing a document is creating an array in PHP, and then by calling insert, we insert this document. Looking up documents, we run the find method. You get like a bunch of results back, and then we dump that out by printr. It's fairly straightforward what we do here. So this is the old API. The new API is quite a bit more complicated. It's more complicated because the driver doesn't do all the nice things for you anymore. So you need to create a connection still, but then you need to create a command structure, which we then can execute. Uh, if you want to insert something, you need to create a bulk write thing, call insert on that, execute the bulk write thing. It's very much more complicated because, as I said before, the driver doesn't do all the nice things anymore. Instead, what you do is you run this PHP library on top of that provides the nice APIs. So Hippo, again, another funny name that's stuck uh, internally. It's the same, same API, API implementation, but then running on HHVM. So we've been working on that for about a year, since the start of the year. Uh, it doesn't share any code with the PHP driver, except for uh, libmongo C and the Bison uh, extensions that we use underneath. But the interesting thing is, the way how you write extensions in HSM is quite different than what you do in PHP. So it actually makes it a bit faster to write extensions. I'll have an example of that in a moment. So whereas in, in PHP extensions, you need to do everything in C. In HHVM, you write parts in PHP or hack, and then you can write all the parts in C++. So the definition files where you define the methods here, you can see sort of PHP code because it already has the additional type ins in there, and HHVM has had that for quite some time. So you define your methods that you want to make available through an extension in a PHP file. Uh, the word native says that it's actually not implemented in PHP, but instead is implemented in an equivalent C++ method. And one of those methods look like this. Uh, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with C++, but it's really quite straightforward what, what it does here. Uh, for example, 
In the first line, it finds out the internal resources that belong to an object, in this case, a Mongo, uh, MongoDB slash driver slash manager. We create from that a URL. Uh, we make a connection or we create a new client, like, oh, wrong button, wrong button. New client, if it doesn't work, we throw an exception, and then we, just, we look at some other options to do right. It's fairly trivial. And then other things, um, as you can see here, the const structure for the read preferences class is all written in PHP. So because, it, yeah, it's, it's a lot faster. And the thing is that even though you write it in PHP, it doesn't get executed as PHP because when you compile the extension, the HHVM build process will actually change this into uh, things that can run nearly directly on the CPU. So there is a translation stage going on making sure that the PHP code you write doesn't run at the speed of PHP code. It runs at the speed of nearly C code. So that's kind of a nice really benefit because writing this is a lot faster than writing the same implementation in C or C++. So yeah, just a quick overview of how you would parse arguments between HHVM and, and PHP. So the top line, that's the only line, instructs HHVM to parse the arguments being passed to your methods to put in a string and an array, and then something falls off the screen. Actually, you can scroll there. An array and then another array. Whereas in PHP, the same code you'd spend like 30 lines from. Because you need to actively parse all the argument, do all the tests, whether they're the correct types and stuff like that, making that a lot more complicated in PHP. So yeah, writing extension HVM looks like it's going to be a lot faster. And I, the, to, to have a back, uh, back at the API, I don't have to go that over again. Uh, so the output of that is simple enough. Um, the output of, <laughs> you can see the difference, right, between the different extensions. So when we started writing this, we didn't really write a spec, and we had gotten our namespaces wrong, or different. And also, Fungo would output an array, and Hippo, the HFVM implementation, would output a standard class object instead of an array. So you don't want this, right? You want to have exactly the same API. And we noticed that we just hadn't written it down properly. So then just before we release, we realized, hmm, this is not good. So we need to write a, a specification. And then we spent two weeks writing a specification, going over all the edge cases, and I won't bother you with, with the whole thing, but uh, actually, I can show you. If you're interested in it, yeah, we wrote down quite a lot of stuff and examples of how those things actually should have worked. Uh, in hindsight, that should have been done before we started writing the extensions, not when we were nearly done. Anyway, that's how you learn. Now I need to click there because iframes. And then uh, we started looking at supporting PHP 7. And um, yeah, my coworker made a patch for that, and we had to remove three or add 3,000 lines and remove nearly 1,000. You can see there's quite a lot of impact. This is an extension that has if I had to guess, about 8,000 lines of code. So this is a significant amount we had to change. So there was a big sigh, like, oh no. Um, and PHP 7 internally is quite different, and it's annoyingly different in some cases. Um, like some, some structures internally changed in such a way that it was actually, yeah, this is going to be really difficult to, to write the same code base for both PHP 5 and PHP 7. But then the equivalent is maintaining two code bases, which is nearly as bad to do. So at the moment, uh, we haven't merged this patch, patch yet because there's still some issues with it. We also really don't want to release a, dr a driver for, for a language version that isn't out yet. So we're holding off releasing the PHP 7 support for the new, HH, new MongoDB driver until after PHP 7 is out. So it is likely going to be early next year that we release this, because we do want to test it and stuff like that too. Um, as I mentioned, we have those layers in the bottom for PHP 5, PHP 7, and HSVM. And then on top, we have this PHP library, which we call Flip. Uh, again, internal names, they stick sometimes. And that sits on top of both drivers. You can install it with Composer, and it implements all those nice convenience methods that we lost by writing these very minimal extensions. Um, if you want to start a new project running the driver, uh, you need to make sure the extension is installed. You can run Composer. And this works on both PHP and HHVM, except that instead of PHP 
you use HHVim in that case. It, it runs the same way, it doesn't matter. And then, yeah, you can go back to the APIs that you are quite familiar with, right? So it is still a little bit different. So instead of using the uh, property access to get to your database and your collections, you now have to call a method because that is just much clear what's going on. Um, but you can still call the drop method on the collection and insert. We've now changed to insert one and insert many so that we don't have to check the difference between them. Fine is the same. So this is basically the APIs like people were used to in the, old, in the olden time, except that you now have to include a composer library and you instantiate a slightly different uh, client, but that's it. So it is mostly compatible, but not 100%. And as I said, we're still wi writing the migration guides. So the interesting things that we ran into is that while we were working on, on the drivers, Fungo wasn't quite ready yet. So the HSM drive, we started a little bit later with, so we were playing catch up on some of the APIs that were changing as well. So sometimes what would happen is that Fungo had implemented, I implemented in the HHVM driver, and when I was done with it, Fungo had just changed the APIs again. So that was a bit frustrating. And as I said, we should have written specifications up front. So we changed some names of exceptions around, and uh, we changed uh, the top level namespace of some of those things, some changes in results and things like that. So yeah, we spent some time writing specs because that is actually really important if you have to support multiple engines. And then, yes, we get to HHVM. And HHVM, is, it's a new engine, right? Any of you that ever written a PHP extension in your life, you know how badly the PHP engine is documented. Well, with HHVM, it's not badly documented, it's just not documented at all. There's just no documentation whatsoever. So I had to spend quite a lot of time going to other extensions to actually figure out what it does, talking to Facebook engineers because sometimes I really had no idea how they came to certain things. And at the same time, I also said, well, this is sort of useful for other people to know. So I started writing like a cookbook. I had like little recipes in there so that other people can now hopefully more easily write HSVM extensions as well. HSVM as an engine itself has issues. Um, so you know, if you have create an object, right? And in an object, uh, something in your constructor goes wrong. In PHP, the only way how you can deal with that is throw an exception. Uh, same thing in PHP extensions. If you want to break off object creation in your constructor, you throw an exception. And that works fine in PHP, it works fine in userland as well in extensions. Well, in HHVM, uh, you can't do that. You can throw an exception, but if you catch the exception, the original object is still created. It's still created without any of the things internally set. So if you could catch it and then continue using the object, it just crashes. And there's no way to defend against that. Uh, HSVM is also a lot more harder to debug. At the moment, uh, there's still an issue that I have to hammer out and I cannot find it. I cannot find it because of internal memory corruption. And unlike with PHP where you can use Valgrind and turn off the memory management to, to make it really easy to figure out what's going, no such thing in HSVM. So, even though technically the extensions are easier to write, debugging them is definitely harder. Uh, so yeah, we're still working on that, so that's why we haven't brought it out yet, but it's getting to the point where I just need to grab a Facebook engineer and just debug it together. Unfortunately, those people are very hard to find, and they are also in a time zone nine hours away. That doesn't make it easier either. So yeah, we're still working on that, and it was kind of tricky, and I think I sort of have to admit that HHVM is no longer as important as it was before PHP 7 existed because the main reason of people moving to HHVM is for speed, right? And if any of you have just seen Zev's talk, uh, the slot before, the speed between PHP 7 and HHVM is approximately the same now. Except, of course, that PHP extension is something I've been writing for well, ten, more than 10 years. So I know that engine is so much better than HHVM and it's so much easier to debug. So yeah, we'll see whether the HHVM extension are going to catch on or whether it's going to die a very slow and not so painful that we don't know. So the current status is that we released the uh, PHP 5 driver uh, as Fungo uh, about three weeks ago. The HHVM driver has a release candidate. I don't want to release it until I've figured out my last memory corruption bug. That makes sense, I suppose. Uh, the PHP library is in alpha stage. 
Uh, again, we don't really want to release that until either Fongo and Hippo and the P3.7 version are out, but we might just give up on that and release it anyway. The alpha release is it's, it's stable, but we didn't want to release it because in case we might have to change something in our APIs. And of course, you can't change something once version 1.0.0 gets released. So it is a bit of an insurance for us. So still to do is we have to finish Fungo, Hippo, and PHPLib. We have to add some additional layers on top of it that we technically should have ready before the 1.0 version, but we don't. And then, of course, we have to write documentation and tutorials. And that is going to be quite a lot of work because the APRs are going to be totally different. And if you search for PHP and MongoDB on the internet now, you get lots and lots of tutorials which are going to be outdated. So our plan is to actually actively talk to people that pro produce those tutorials, um, ask them whether they needed some help upgrading, writing upgrading guides, or make, maybe writing those for them. So our, the next couple of months for us is we need to tell people how to use a new driver. So you'll probably see me standing in talks for other conferences about how to use a new MongoDB driver at some point, and then hopefully, of course, uh, people accept those talks as well. Anyway, that's what I had to talk about. Um, hopefully you found this interesting. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. If you want to ask them in French, that's okay too. Somebody else will have to translate for me, but uh, I sometimes notice that it's easier to ask questions in French. Is there anything? There's one right there. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm not an expert uh, with uh, PHP extension, and etc. But um, I checked uh, a little project. Uh, his name is uh, PHP CPP. Did you test it? PHP CPP. Is that a little bit like Falcon? Is it something like no. that? Uh, it's a layer um, upon the, the extension um, API. And uh, I didn't test it. Uh, I don't know. It vaguely reminds me of something I've seen. Um, there is something that t wants to provide an easier API for writing extensions. Is that what PHP CPP is? I see nodding in the front. He probably knows better than I do. Uh, I haven't looked at that. I don't think it really quite existed when we started writing it, or it wasn't very mature yet. Uh, also, I like writing my own code. So maybe yeah, that's another reason that we haven't looked at. We did actually look at, at Falcon, which compiles PHP to C++ in some way, but it hardly implements any of PHP's object-oriented support, so we, well, we didn't think there was any useful. So I'm familiar with PHP CPP, but I also have never used or tested it. Uh, it's, it's definitely not the same thing. Okay, um, sorry. Because it's, um, you, you, you create classes uh, in a CPP way, mm -hmm. And um, you define uh, some map uh, in uh, in your class, and uh, it compiles to uh, a PHP uh, extension. Okay, so okay, yes, I see what you mean, but no, I haven't looked at it. <laughs> okay, all right. But um, thanks. And I have uh, another question. Sure. <laughs> uh, where do you where are you going to to put your uh, tutorials? Uh, where? Um, they're going to be part of the PHP documentation. Uh, we also, in a new extension, there is now a new well, chapter with tutorials in there. So well, the one we've written so far is installing it, and a very basic one for using the new PHP library. But we're going to work on a few more, like writing like tiny applications and things like that. But as I said, we, we haven't gotten to the point yet. But okay. we will. Thank you. They will be in the PHP documentation, and I will likely also post either excerpts or summaries uh, on my blog as well, which you can find at DerekWattons.nl. Hello. Hi. Um, you said you uh, made up a, li a library and a user land library for MongoDriver. Yeah. Uh, I understand the reason, but uh, have you checked uh, performance? Uh, that's a good question. That? So we have, I did look at that. Um, a little bit, because you probably think written in PHP, it makes things go quite a bit slower. Uh, but that is true for the PHP side, it's not true for the HHVM side. It's not true for the HHVM side because once certain bits of code get used a lot, it gets compiled into nearly CPU 
compatible binary codes. So the performance there shouldn't have much of an effect. On the PHP side, we found very little issues with it, mostly because the driver implements a few more things now that make serialization into objects easier. So we don't spend that much overhead with it. So the only thing the PHP layer does is provides nice syntactic sugar. If you would compare that to the time it takes for you to do a query or an insert, it's insignificant. Uh, so it, is, it isn't very complex PHP code. It is, it is a lot lighter than an, than an ODM and an ORM would be, for example. So no, we haven't run benchmark, but we would like to do that and see what the differences are. Yeah. That is actually part of our goals for the next quarter or so. So you'll see some benchmarks. Okay, let's thank uh, right. Derek again. That's the end of the presentation. You're welcome.